All right, I'm having mid-batch heater failures. So I'm going through the, uh, the barrage of what to look for. And you wanna make sure that these are all level. Sometimes the wires get pulled out a little bit and those look fine. So it is not at the connector. <laughs> Hi guys. All right, so we're gonna finally get in here and try to take care of this mid-batch heater error problem. And upon taking it apart, I noticed this fun little thing here. So we're gonna clean that up, but I imagine that's not a good thing. Um, we seem to think that this is some sort of temperature wire, so I don't know if it's related or not, but we're gonna clean it up and try to figure it out. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get it all hooked back up together and we're gonna go through the functional testing um, to test all these relay boards. So there's a video on Harvest Right site that talks about how to determine if your relay is not good using the drain one, which is blank. And um, so you just kind of switch it to the drain one and blah, blah. Anyway, you can watch the video. Um, and we're just kind of doing that to help us learn how to, to uh, troubleshoot. Diagnose. Yeah, how to diagnose stuff. Um, because it doesn't really matter what it says because we're to the point now where we're gonna be changing the relay board out. So that is the ultimate plan. And the problem, one of the things that it talks about when you get a mid-batch error is that you just say continue. And I did that, still got the error, that wasn't the problem. And then it says to test using the functional test, to test to make sure that the heater turns on, on your trays using the functional test. And it did. So I could do the functional test and they would warm up. So I don't really know, I could not get it to make it through um, we've updated to the most recent firmware and so that's that's what we're gonna do because we're gonna check these out just for helping us to learn things and then we're gonna change the relay board out and hopefully that will take care of the problem we'll keep you posted all right so we're at the functional test mode and with the most recent let me just show you where it is so you just push the leaf and it gets you to the functional test. Now, just with everything off, check this out. Can you see that green light? So that green light is actually the drain. And when I hit the drain to the on position, the light goes out. That seems a little reversed to me. I'm not sure I understand that at all. So that's the drain off. <laughs> And then when we hit vacuum, the vacuum light and the spare light. So this is, this right here is spare. That's drain, that's vacuum. And then when I do the freeze, so that one's the freeze and that's working. So you notice when I hit the heater, it turns on. And when I feel the shelves, they're getting hot. So it's not apparently, it's not 100% evidence that it's the relay, but I don't know what else to do at this point. So that's sort of where we're at. What do you think? I'm a little <laughs> frustrated with the equipment. <laughs> okay. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> it's been a trying process with this machine. All right. We're going to keep plugging and chugging. All right. There was one other thing that we noticed. So, B.I., I can show you. Um, two wires were overlapped. And I don't know if it's this or not. But it was this one. Yeah, here you go. There's the mark. But two wires were overlapped and it melted the wire down to the metal, melted the, the covering down to the metal. Uh, the other wire didn't have metal exposed, so I don't think it was, uh, I don't think a, a circuit was going through there, but definitely something to look at. 
the wires are heating up so hot that it's melting the casing of the wire. So, and what does that wire go to? What that does it is say? the AC, it says AC. Okay. I think that's power to the whole relay board. Hmm. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna put some electrical tape on that, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take one wire off and put it on into the place. We got the new relay board in place. And just uh, do it one at a time. See how it goes. Alright. So as we go along, we're checking each wire and any kind of potential nicks or places that seem like might be some trouble. We're just gonna wrap them up. ACM, main power into the relay unit. The wire is casing is melted all the way down to the actual metal in two spots wire. well one, oh yeah yeah several spots and then look at the look at that that doesn't look very promising looks like there was a, a power problem all right moment of truth double checking we did our taping I'm going to turn the freeze dryer on. We're going to go through that functional test again. All right. The uh, drain light the drain on again. Drain light on and get the seat on again. <laughs> That's so interesting. All right. So here's the drain. Did the light go out? It went off. Okay. So weird. Vacuum. Lights on. Breathe. Lights on. And last but not least, heater. Lights on. All right, let me see. The temperature is going up, or no, the time is going up. Oh, yep, there you go. The temperature is going up now. And that feels warm. That's warm. That's warm. And that's warm. All right, so now we're going to run some bread and see what happens, see if we can get through the process. Fingers crossed, baby. Fingers crossed, Lord willing. <laughs> okay, it's January 6th, and it's the moment of truth. Ran four trays of bread yesterday to test to see if changing the relay board, in fact, fixed our problem. I'm actually kind of nervous right now. Let's see. That's a good sign. We didn't get a mid-batch heater error. Oh, all right. So let's check it out. Hmm. Not a lot of pressure in there. Tray is really, really cold. What happens if we do that? Brad, 
breakfast. <laughs> All right, so it appears that it worked. You just gotta keep on running it, see what happens. So we'll try it. A little nervous though. Don't have a lot of confidence. Gotta build my confidence back up. Whatever food's farms, I mean yeah. Bye.